As always, we invite you to join the conversation on our Facebook page, Hola America News, or on Twitter. There you'll find more pictures, extended interviews, and more exclusive material. But first, we have a special segment about the Arrowhead Ranch running program. It was two years ago at the Crime Stoppers 5K run that the Arrowhead Ranch residents and staff were invited to participate in the race. In just two years time, the area's well-known residential treatment facility has put together quite the running program. When they are not working on treatment work or are out doing community service, you can find most of the residents and even some of the staff running around the campus. In the last two years, in addition to the Crime Stoppers 5K run, the Arrowhead running team has participated in the run for Viva 5K, the Hawk Hustle, the Lago Marcinos Coco Bino 5K, the Firecracker Run, and many more local races, as well as the Race for the Cure this past June. The response from the race directors um, for the Arrowhead Running Therapy Program has been um, overwhelming, to say the least, for me. Um, whenever I email and ask if we can be a part of all these events, I have yet to have a no back from them, and so that's great to see. And also, um, you know, the kids, when we do these and we, and we talk to them, they, wanna, they want us to help set up and tear down, and then we're able to run these races. And so that helps with the kids seeing that, you know, it's helping the community that they're a part of, and also they, it's kind of a win-win situation for everybody. And this year, the Quad Cities Marathon founder and director, Joe Moreno, invited the Arrowhead kids to participate at the 5K race with the Quad Cities Marathon. As most of the residents are at Arrowhead for negative behavior, running is something productive and healthy that can be done when they return home. Helping teach the residents positive coping skills has always been on the top of the list for the staff at Arrowhead and anyone who has ran before who definitely agrees that running is a great way to get rid of anger and stress. Yeah, I enjoy running with them very much. I know for me it's also a coping skill for stress and for just the day-to-day -day hectic lives. It's nice to go out for a run for them to get out off the campus a little bit and run with us um, for half an hour even. They come back and say that it just helped out tremendously with their mindset, so that's also really fun to see. Hi, Brandon. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Well, thank you for having me. And so tell us a little bit about Arrowhead Ranch. What is it? Yeah, Arrowhead Ranch is a residential facility for youth at risk. Uh, generally, we work with teenagers uh, between the age range of 14 and 18, but we can take them a little younger and a little older than that, as long as they're still pursuing education. So I've uh, been around a long time, since the 40s. Uh, a lot has changed over that time, but the one thing that hasn't changed is we're still helping kids. Awesome, and so it seems like this is a really helpful organization, especially this running program. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the running program is something that has really blown up at Arrowhead over the last few years. Uh, we started it about two and a half years ago. Um, a lot of people involved to really get it going. Um, Nick Cunningham being one of the, the main players and, and getting the running program going, but there's been a lot of outside help too. Uh, our first race was the Crime Stoppers 5K, which fit perfectly uh, with our mission too, you know, uh, preventing, you know, these kids into going into a life of crime. So Scott Williams, Detective Scott Williams of, of the Moline Police Department was the one that came up with the idea. Hey, why don't you guys come run the race with us. I think it'd be great. Wanted nothing in return. Said, hey, you know, you guys come run. We'd love to have you. And from there, it's just blossomed and, and just completely grown. And now we run about 20 to 30 races a year. Uh, the running community has really accepted us. And uh, it, it's been just a huge, huge program for the kids we have there. So how has the discipline of running helped with their behavior exactly? In so many ways. You know, I, I could probably talk for 20 minutes about how it's helped, but I'll just give you a, a brief description. Uh, first off is, you know, it's a great stress relief for a lot of our kids. Uh, you know, challenges come up during the day and, and a good way to get rid of that anxiety and that energy is to go out and run after after school. And, you know, they do a lot of practicing on grounds and off grounds. So that's one way. Also, being, getting to be a part of these events is a great motivator for them to help their behaviors. Uh, only appropriate kids get to go to the races. So if behaviors aren't there, you know, the week leading up to it, they don't get to go. And that's in the back of their mind a lot of times when they're making decisions like, you know, if I want to go off grounds and, and, and participate in this race, this weekend, you know, I'm gonna have to keep it together throughout the week. So, I mean, and then that's just, you know, the tip of the iceberg of, of the many, many advantages of, of the running program. So it sounds like it's kind of a motivator to 
not a reward, but well, no. I guess kind of a, yeah. a reward. A little system. bit of both. A little bit of both. It is. It is definitely a reward, but it is motivation for them to kind of keep their nose clean. Another big part of it is we were having a lot of kids leave Arrowhead and going back to their home school district and their home and getting involved in running programs, either joining cross country or track or something like that. So you know that that just makes you feel really good about it because sometimes all it takes is getting involved in a, in a group to keep these kids out of trouble, whether it be a sports team or a club at school. So this is kind of that first step for them and, and joining maybe a bigger team. Do you think that the therapeutic effects of running is are kind of overlooked sometimes in our society? Yeah, well, I, I definitely think so. But I think society is starting to catch up. They, there's a lot of articles about it. There's a lot of, uh, of statistics and background, you know, supporting the therapeutic advantages of running. So I, I think we are catching up and I, I think society realizes it. And you guys also volunteer to set up and tear down the races. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that is a big part of what we do. Uh, you know, it, it's not free to get into these races. A lot of race directors, you know, there's giveaways that you get when you sign up. There's a lot of things that go into it. So for our exchange, since we are a nonprofit, we can't pay for every kid to be in there. So it's kind of an exchange. We'll come help set up, you know, before and break down afterwards in exchange for getting our kids to run. And a lot of times, a lot of race directors actually say, no, no, that's not necessary. That's not necessary. But we feel it's, it's important for the kids to get out there and help out. And community service is also a, a big part of what we do at Arrowhead. Kind of like they, they earn to be yeah. part of the race. Yeah. And, and not even just that, but just that, that feeling of belonging to a community and helping out in the community, you know, even kids that don't run will go out and, and help uh, set up and break down and do that volunteer work. So, you know, it, it goes hand in hand and it works perfectly. And speaking of community, it seems like the running community, you were speaking about this a little before, has really embraced these kids. Oh yeah, I mean, it's been absolutely amazing. You know, when our first couple races, we'd go out there and we'd wear our Arrowhead shirts and then other race directors just start approaching us. Uh, I can say Joe Marino has been a great, great guy who's helped us, you know, get into races and, and help out at races. And as I mentioned earlier, Detective Scott Williams has been a great guy in that. And there's so many other, too, too numerous to name all the other great race directors that help us out. And you know, all, this is all good. Have you heard any criticism of the program from? You anyone? know, that, that, there's actually a funny story. I, not real criticism, but we actually had an article in the paper not too long ago. Um, probably about a year, year and a half ago, it was uh, Arrowhead Kids on the Run. No, it's a good thing. And uh, how it came about was there was a, a, a neighbor near Arrowhead who saw a bunch of kids running. And they got a little like, oh, my God, kids are running. What they didn't realize is we were practicing. So that, I wouldn't say criticism, but there's been some uh, pretty funny situations where people didn't realize what we were doing at the, at the time. And, and then we had to explain to them, no, no, this is good. They're not running away from Arrowhead. They're participating in a program. So... And so how often do you guys do these races? Like when's the next one? Uh, our next one will be the Lago Marcino 5K, which we have done for the last three years now. And we usually do about 20 to 30 races a year. Wow. Um, and that's growing. I mean, it started the first year was maybe five, second year, maybe 15 to 20. And this year's 20 to 30. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we are in a great community for uh, the 5Ks, 10Ks, things like that. I mean, it seems like there's a race just about every weekend if, if you really want to go out there and look for it. So. Does it slow down during the winter or do you guys train more during the winter? Yeah, no, it, it definitely slows down uh, during the winter, but there are some races that, that go on during the winter. So we try and participate in any of those, as many of those as we can, but it, it definitely slows down in the winter. Well, thank you so much, Brandon, for being with us today and um, keep up the good work. All right, thank you. Thanks for having me.